What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Well, the time is here, y'all. The time is here. The moment of truth. Like the one that Gangstar made with Guru. I don't know if y'all into hip-hop like that, though. I used to listen to that album. Big time. You know what I'm saying? That 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 is the first track off of that album. The moment of truth is here. So. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Furious tomorrow night. Now, I did see that standoff that they had but you know I have my opinion for one I think Tyson Fury is taking Deontay Wilder lightly from his comments that he made at that standoff press conference and what I think a lot of people think is that Deontay Wilder is stupid they think that he's dumb, unintelligent. Well, I'm one to say, uh, y'all don't know very much about Southern black Americans to make that assumption because I beg to differ. They may not be able to talk like you want them to talk, but their intelligence you can't question. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to put that out there for people who don't know any better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they have their own. Everybody don't have to hit. You don't have to hit the books to be smart. You can be smart without the books. You can be smart without a college ed education. You can be intelligent without a, co a college education. It cho you just choose the way you use your intelligence. But anyway, I think Tyson Fury is taking Deontay Wilder a bit too lightly. And I think a lot of y'all are, personally. There was ants in here, y'all. I'm just trying to make sure they ain't crawling on me. <laughs> Did I spray him, but still, you know, when they dying, they like to go and scurry everywhere. But anyway, um... <clears throat> I think he is. I think, honestly, that he feels that he is so far superior over Deontay Wilder skill-wise that he can beat him out of shape. Or with minimal, minimal workout or preparation. That's what I think is going through his head. I think he also thinks a lot, like a lot of people, how they point this, nar they've been pointing this narrative out ever since I've been small. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Have you ever been around a hungry old dog? They learn new tricks all the time to get that food. When they hungry, yeah. But anyway... To down somebody's ability to learn at any age is one of the biggest mistakes anyone can make. To underestimate your opponent. And that's what it sounds like that Tyson Fury and a lot of others have done. They figure he's done. He fights like he fights. Nothing is going to give. When you put pressure on them, they revert back to what they know best. In some cases, that's true. But in some cases, it's not. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? There's a flip side to every coin, unless it's a double-sided coin. You know what I'm saying? So, when I hear this talk, I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going for Deontay Wilder. I'm going for the underdog. I'm going for the one that 
they say can't learn any new tricks and this, that, and the third. Well, he's been learning ever since he's been in the game, so I don't know what to tell y'all on that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all could take that any way y'all want to. And something tell me he done learned something this time. O and B signing out. Peace.